Hi guys, welcome back. I keep forgetting I need to sh uh, film in landscape mode because one person told me to. <laughs> yeah, I know it's easier on the eyes. Shut up. I also know this lighting is absolutely horrible and there's nothing I can really do about it. I guess I can turn off the light. I'm being stupid. This lighting is still absolutely horrible and there's nothing I can do about it. Anyway, um... So... Wow, fuck my life, huh? <gasps> so, um... I'm gonna be reacting to my, I think it's 100, it's either 50 or 100, most played songs according to Spotify of 2019. I know this is a bit late. Excuse me. Um, I know this is a bit late, but um, I just thought I would do this because this playlist showed up. So we're gonna be going backwards from like 100 to 1. I think it's 100. I'm not sure. I didn't count how many songs it was, and I saw some of them, but I don't know what everything is. So this is 100. This is Nothing Breaks Like a Heart with Miley Cyrus. Uh, Mark Ronson and Miley Cyrus, and this is a very good song. So, this one doesn't really surprise me too much. It's at the bottom because I definitely like it, but it was kind of an intense song for me. Next one is Power by Little Mix and Stormzy. So, this is just kind of one of those songs that's like, I guess, consistently, consistently, like, play, come up in my playlist and all that. Um, with a lot of Little Mix songs, I like girl groups a lot. This is honestly... Encore by Gabby Hanna. This one is Gorillas, Hollywood with Snoop Dogg and Jamie Principal. So this is from Manana. This is probably the only Gorilla stuff that's on here outside of the hits. So there is new Gorillas music coming out, by the way. I haven't been listening to too much Gorillas lately, but it was probably earlier in the year. Next is Panini by Lil Nas X. There also may be some song copies, I'm not sure about that, because of different versions. So, I'm actually surprised this is so low, because I thought I listened to this a lot, but I guess it only came out later in the year. Next one is I'm the Best by 21. One of the K-pop songs I've kind of had in my playlist for a long time. Uh, the next one is Sorry by Beyonce. And uh, me and my aunt love Lemonade, so we were listening to this when I was visiting her. And also, just Lemonade is a good album overall. This is Me by Taylor Swift and Britton Yuri. I don't actually like this song, but I used it for my worst list, and I also did listen to it a lot when it came out, and I had a uh, video about it, um, and also Top 20 Ranked, so this is definitely a song that I did listen to a good bit. Next is Honeymoon Avenue by Ariana Grande. Nothing you really say other than this song is beautiful and fantastic, and I love it. I really have nothing to say about this song. The next one is Umbrella, okay, Rihanna and Jay-Z. Uh, this is a staple. Just, it's just always gonna be on my most listened songs. Maroon 5, This Love. And the next one is No Scrubs by TLC. This is another staple that I just have. Another staple pop song that I have on my playlists. And this is Clint Eastwood by Gorillaz, so there's Gorillaz again. I really do like this song. But this is one of these singles like I mentioned already. And Black Widow by Iggy Azalea and Rita Ora. This is another one that I just kind of consistently keep in rotation, I guess. And the next one is Teeth by Five Seconds of Summer. The song never charted and I'm sad because it like kept being on the bubbling under. Y'all need to listen to this song, it's really good. Uh, the next one is Feel Still by Portrait of the Man. That's a 2017 hit. I don't think I've actually listened to this so much recently, but I did put it on my best list for 2017. So I probably, I probably put it, I probably had it here because I was listening to it for that purpose. Feel Good Ink by Gorillaz, the other Gorillaz big, big hit, I guess. And the next one is Be My Baby by Ariana Grande and Cashmere Cat. And just Ariana Grande, expect to see a lot of Ariana Grande. That's generally the theme of this of this list. Six Inch by Beyonce featuring The Weeknd. I love this song. And the next one is Congratulations by Post Malone and Quavo. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of Post Malone here as well. Okay, so we have Naturally by Selena Gomez in the scene. Another just like good song I have in my playlist. Uh, Dare by Girls. Okay, there's another Girls song there. Probably this one because it's danceable. So, I have a lot of danceable songs in here. Billie Eilish, I Don't Want to Be You Anymore. 
just uh, Billie Eilish, I feel like I listen to a lot. Shawn Mendes, If I Can't Have You. This was just a really popular song last year, so. Next one is Thank You Next by Ariana Grande. So, there's not really much to say about that. Humility by Gorillaz. So, uh, another Gorillaz song. A lot of these are low down, like I said, I only really listened to him at the earlier part of the year and then I stopped listening. So the next one is Motivation by Normani. This was a song that only came out in the later part of the year, but it's really fun and upbeat. Like I said, danceable songs will generally go on my playlist. The next one is When I Was Older by Billie Eilish. This is just a really atmospheric song and I love it. This would be the one you really need like surround sound to listen to <laughs> or like that AD audio thing. But I will say that um, this was not off her album. This was off uh, Roma. I don't know what movie this was, if this was a movie. But. So, anyway, this song's great. Uh, Imagine by Ariana Grande. So, this wasn't my most listened one, but it's still a really nice song. And we have Youngblood by Five Sauce. And then No Promises by Demi Lovato and Cheat Codes. Like I said, danceable songs tend to make my overall playlist. And this is a very like kind of electronic song. This one is No Way Megan Trainer. Also very danceable. I like I could get up and dance to this. And the next one is Money by Cardi B. This was a song that came out early in the year and I listened to it a lot and then I kinda of stopped listening to it. But I actually really like this song. A lot of people didn't like it. And then we have Pillowcase by Gabby Hanna. And I'm still frustrated she didn't release her album, but I have other problems with Gabby Hanna at the moment that I'm not going to get into. Uh, but her song was good. This was a good song. This was a really good song. So, honestly. And the next one is Idol by BTS. This is probably just one of the BTS songs that's consistently... I actually, I don't really know if I get sick of any BTS songs, but I don't tend to get sick of it. Like, I can have this type of thing as background noise, but it's also danceable. Um, Who Do You Love by The Chainsmokers and Five Sauce. I really love this chorus. Uh, the drop's a little bit annoying, but... I definitely did listen to this a lot. And the next one is In My Head by Ariana Grande. Which is an amazing song. It's a great song. And the next one is Bellyache by Billie Eilish. I'll probably listen to this more near summertime. I haven't listened to it in a while, but it's a great song. And the next one is Turn Down For What. This is just a consistent high energy EDM song um, by DJ Snake and Lil Jon. And it's actually really funny because I've been listening to a lot of K-pop like really recently, not just BTS, but like a lot of K-pop in general. And I was listening to this one song, it was a CL solo from a 21 album, and it sounded like this, like the the the, the way like the the beat was. Anyway, next one is On My Mind by Ellie Golding. Also, I love CL. Stan CL. Just kidding. You don't have to stand anyone. But this is just another like consistent, consistently good pop song. But Stan Everglow guys stream their song, because Everglow is a really good girl group. And if y'all are blanks and you're starved for content, stream Everglow. Like, that's what you should do. Also, uh, Dua Lipa has a new song out called Physical, and it's literally one of the best songs I've ever heard, so please stream it. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, next one is Every Day by Ariana Grande in Future. This is a very danceable song as well. I could do, like, choreo, choreo to this. Good Next one is Confident by Demi Lovato. I think this was one of those songs that I like really, really loved like a couple years ago. Kind of played it a little bit, played it out a little bit, I guess I could say. But it's still a great song. And the next one is You Need to Calm Down by Taylor Swift. This was really popular. It's not my favorite, but whatever. Definitely better than Me Hee And Nightmare by Halsey. This was definitely a song I overplayed myself. Like this was, I listened to this so much when it came out. And I noticed that this didn't even make the um, new album. Although to be honest, I don't really think it's a good fit for the album. So that's probably a good decision on her part. The next one is Don't Call Me Angel, Ariana Grande, Miley Cyrus, and Lana Del Rey. 
This was a song, I played this a ton when it came out, but then I just kind of didn't listen to it anymore. I'm actually kind of surprised it's this high up, but... Then we have Talk by Khalid. This song is like very old to me. It's just kind of like boring, I guess, but it doesn't bother me, so I'll keep it on. Uh, like, it's, I like it, it's a nice vibe, but it's just I played it so many times. I just heard that so many times, because I never would never turn it off. And also just like on the radio they would play. This is Gorillaz Trans. So, is this the highest listen to Gorillaz songs? I haven't listened to Gorillaz in so freaking long. Outside by Calvin Harris and Ellie Goulding. This is just a consistently good EDM song I would just always like to listen to. Back when EDM was actually energetic, and this is why I jumped ship to K-pop, because EDM now sucks ass. We have like Marshmallow and it sucks. And next is Problem by Ariana Grande. Would you come back and do time you touch me and say you love me? So, great song, obviously. Easier by Five Sauce. Five Seconds of Summer. This song actually took a little while to grow on me, but then it did grow on me and it was really good and I really liked it, so. And apparently this was produced, I think it was produced by Charlie Puth, I can't remember. Or this version of the song, because there's also like a rock version of the song, but like the version that was on the radio got produced by like Charlie Puth. And I think that's really cool because like it does sound like a Charlie Puth song, and so it sounds really good. This next one is Can't Be Tamed by Miley, Miley Cyrus. I can't say Miley Cyrus for some reason. Uh, but this is an old song, but I like it. Next one is Shameless by Camila Cabello. This was another song I listened to a ton when it came out, but now I haven't really listened to it much since then, I guess. But I still think it's a really good song. I think I could go back to this now and enjoy it. Just for a while, I got kind of tired of it. Uh, the next one is Do 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 by Blackpink. This is probably my most consistently listened Blackpink song overall. Um, just... This is the one that I don't tend to turn off. Like, I like their other songs, uh, like Playing With Fire, As If It's Your Last, Boom, Yeah, but I, this is the one I don't get sick of, I guess. You know what I mean? So, I don't get sick of it. And out of like the two or three years I've been a blank, probably do 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 is my most listened song by them. But this is just 2019 specifically. So we have Walk Me Home My Pink, which is just a really solid song. And then we have When The Party's Over by Billie Eilish. And then we have Liar by Camila Cabello. I said I won't lose control. I don't want it. This is just a bop to me. We have Don't Let Me Down by the Chainsmokes and Day. This is another EDM song that just kind of stays. Like I'll, I, I won't skip it when it comes on. So. And then we have 365 by Zed and Katy Perry. And then, uh, Bitch Better Have My Money by Rihanna. This is an old song too. I don't tend to skip this, but I do skip the outro because it's really long. And then we have Wish You Were Gay by Billie Eilish. I love the piano. <laughs> and then, uh, Honestly by Gabby Hanna. The main track, not the encore. And then we have Boyfriend by Ariana Grande and Social House. I do like this better than Thinking Next. Evidently, I've played it more than Thinking Next. Rodeo by Lil Nas X and Cardi B. This is my favorite Lil Nas X song, and he just released a remix with Nas, so that one's pretty cool too. I like the version with Cardi B though. Cardi's verse is fire, honestly. In the song, next is My Strange Addiction by Billie Eilish. Also known as that one song that sampled The Office. I actually haven't watched The Office, but it's really cool that she did that. Uh, this is Medicaid by Gabby Hanna. A single version according to the thing like I said we might have some dupe songs we'll have to see how that ends up going but like I you can honestly say whatever you will about Gabby Hanna but I still love this song like this is this is just one of my favorite songs ever uh next is Breathing by Ariana, Ariana Grande this is just a really uplifting song so I just like to listen to this a lot and we have Circles by Post Malone the crazy how high up this is considering it only came out like in like September I want to say I can't remember but it's just such a good song. It's just such a jam. And then we have Swan Song by Dua Lipa. This was actually from Alita, Alita Battle Angel. I did listen to this a lot at the beginning. And I was really into it, and then now I just haven't really listened to it too much. This isn't, I like Dua Lipa when she does the older production more. Monster by Gabby Hanna. This one, I do still like the song. 
I'm honestly kind of worried on me. But, uh, then we have Dangerous Woman. <laughs> this is one of my favorite Ariana Grande songs. And then this is Take What You Want by Post Malone, Ozzy Osbourne, and Travis Scott. So, this is a really good song, too. Like I said, I feel like there's a lot of Post Malone here. Kong Kalma by Daddy Yankee and Snow. Not the remix of Katy Perry, because the remix of Katy Perry sucks. But this is a good song. And then we have Dancing of a Stranger by Sam Smith and Normani. This is just a very chill song. Kind of one of those that I don't love, love, but like I, will, I won't turn it off because it's very chill. And we have No Tears Left to Cry by Ariana Grande, which is my favorite Ariana Grande song. Not my most listened to Ariana Grande song in 2019, but it is my favorite. <laughs> and then we have Sunflower by Post Malone and Sway Lee. This was just a constant song I listen to all the time. And then we have Telephone by Lady Gaga and Beyonce. One of the few like club boom era songs that I think has held up to me. And we have Lovely with Billie Eilish and Khalil. Just, oh, this song is so good. Oh, the harmonies, it gives me chills every time. Uh, the next one is Without Me by Halsey. This is just like a nice chill song as well. Uh, we have Wow by Post Malone. Again, this one I probably listen to a lot and also was also in a lot of my top 20 rankings. Womanizer by Britney Spears. This is an old song as well, but I like this song. Uh, I went through a phase where I was like really into this song and then I just kind of didn't listen to it anymore, so. Uh, this was off the Circus album. And then the next one is Poker Face by Lady Gaga. Just. This is a con consistently good pop song. This is one I'm not gonna like turn off ever. We have Don't Hurt Yourself by Beyonce and Jack White. This is my favorite song from Lemonade, by the way. Just, oh my God, this song's so good. And the next one is Mother's Daughter by Miley Cyrus. I feel like I went through a really big phase with this song when it came out and then I, again, I kind of stopped listening to it because I got tired of it. But this song, I listened to so much when it came out, honestly. And the next one is Falling Down by Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez in the scene. This is my favorite Selena Gomez and the scene song. I can't even say that. Selena Gomez and the scene. Yes, but. Uh, and the next one is Truth Hurts. This is here. This is not surprising because this was in all my playlists. We got Cake by the Ocean by DNC. I didn't even realize I listened to that. That's just kind of one of the constants that I'll never turn off. It's just that good. Broken Girls by Gabby Hanna. I still think the song kind of rocks. And then we have Bloodline by Ariana Grande. This is a bop, honestly. And then we have Don't Call Me Up by Mabel. And then Senorita uh, by Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello, that Senorita. It is a K-pop song called Senorita. Uh, with the band G-Idol, but like, that's not a very good song. My favorite G-Idol song was like, I like Dollar and uh, Light My Fire, and uh, what was the other one? Uh, uh oh, yeah, it was called Uh oh. Copycat by Billie Eilish. But this song still holds up and it's amazing, and I just love it. Kill This Love by Blackpink. This was the song, I listened to this, the heck out of this, but I don't, I still don't like it as much as Do 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 Do. But this was just the one that I had in my playlist I listened to the heck out of it because I'm a starved blink, feed me YG! Jesus Christ, what the hell was wrong with me? Next is You Should See Me to Crowd by Billie Eilish. I feel like we're getting close to the end right now because this is a song that I knew I listened to so much. Come over, baby. And the next one is Sucker. Yeah, definitely getting close to the end. Cause this song is just a, just slaps, 5,000% slaps. And then we have Old Town Road. Again, million top 20 ranks, and also just a song that I like on its own merits. And is somewhat immune to overplay, honestly. And then next one is Bury a Friend by Billie Eilish. <laughs> I love this song so much. Ow. Do you know? This song is amazing and I love it. And then we have Bad Idea by Ariana Grande. I got a bad idea. Forget about it. Yeah, forget about it. 
forget about me. No, we shouldn't, baby, but we will. I can keep singing this literally all day. It's that good. We have That Guy by Billie Eilish. I love both songs. So this one is just perfect in every way. And then Break Up With Your Girlfriend, I'm Bored. I think this was my number two. And then Seven Rings would be my number one, probably. I'm just guessing. Yeah. Even though this song is kind of bad, I went through a really complex relationship with it. If you don't know my history of this song, this would just make sense that this would be my most listened song of 2019, even if I don't like it like I used to, because again, <laughs> that just defined my craziness throughout the year. It really did. And we're back around, so that was everything. But Break Up Your Girlfriend on Board was my number two. And I love this song. This song is fantastic. But that's kind of beside the point. Uh, if you haven't watched my best or worst list, you should watch those. And I'm going to be making... I'm going to rank every song in the 2019 year and when I get around to it, which is not right now. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm so cold. Oh, my God. I'll see you later.